Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be uh, estimating or we'll be testing for cross sectional dependence in panel data for data set that has a larger number of cross section compared to the, to the time periods. So we're going to be estimating three tests for cross sectional dependence for when n is greater than t. Remember, for when n is greater than t. And to do this, we would first of all require to estimate to estimate either a fixed effects model or a random effects model. So let us estimate a fixed effects model, which is XT reg. Uh, let us say uh, we are looking at how poverty or how unemployment and GDP influence poverty in Africa. For this data set, our N is greater than C. So we estimate a fixed effect model. Remember, you can also estimate a random effect model. Any of the two would go to test for cross-sectional dependence when n is greater than c. And we are going to be testing. We are going to be using three different tests. We'll be using the the Perseverance CD test. We're going to be also be estimating the Freeze test and the Friedman test. So I've estimated. Um, I've estimated a fixed effect model. Now I can estimate, I can test for cross sectional dependence in the model. So the command, as I said, is XTCSD. You put a comma and pass around. This is the first test. Okay, so this is a test statistic and this is a probability value. Now, a probability value less and uh, greater than 5%, it means that there is no cross sectional dependence. A probability value less and um, greater than 10%, sorry, greater than 5% means that there is no cross sectional dependence. So the next one we can also estimate is the Friedman's test, the Friedman 1937 test, if I can remember. So the Friedman's test result also collaborates with the Perseverance test of no cross sectional dependence among the variables in our model. Now let us also estimate the freeze test. So the results are largely consistent across the three different models, saying that there is no cross-sectional dependence, even at 1%, 5%, and even at 10%. So this is how to estimate your, your cross-sectional dependence test of Perseverance, Friedman, and Freeze. I remember to implement this test, the number of cross-sections must always be greater than the number of time periods.